Uh, see, this is a right-handed coordinate system. I have drawn it on the board. Identify this yellow ball. This is the origin. Okay. This is the origin. This red one is the y-axis. This blue ball, this is the x-axis. And this is the z-axis. This is the way you should draw. What's the rule? The rule is... If you fix it like this, see, in 3D, while drawing in 3D, I can't draw this axis. What I, what I, had do, what I do is, I do it like this. This blue one is the x-axis. Now, the rule is, when you go from, you stay in the first quadrant. First of all, this is the first quadrant, where all of them are positive. X is positive, Y is positive. Z is positive. Fine. Now you stay in the first quadrant and you move, you move from X to Y in an anti-clockwise fashion. Let me show you how you move. Follow this orange ball. X to Y is the movement. You move anti-clockwise. Okay. The Component, uh, sorry, the unit vector along x is i cap. The unit vector along y is j cap. The rule is i cross j is k. That means you take your right hand. You take your right hand and you curl your fingers like this. You curl your fingers like this. X to y, your thumb. Thumb finger will give z. That's the rule. That's the only rule. Okay. Same here. When you go from Y to Z, Y to Z, you curl your fingers like this, your thumb finger will give X. See? K cross I. K cross I. Uh, sorry, this thing. This y to, y to Z means J cross K is I. Okay. Again here, when you go from green to blue, that means, sorry, you should move like this, like this like this let me show you like this from green to blue that means from z to x that means from k cap to i cap so k cross i so k cross i is j this is the right handed coordinate system if you move it doesn't become a left handed coordinate system that's fine see this is very important. This is X, this is Y, and this is Z. You can turn it like this. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. See, this Z comes here. This X comes here, and Y is like this. This is also a right-handed coordinate system. If you turn it like this, this is also a right-handed coordinate system. If you move the whole system together, we don't have a problem. Okay, where is the problem then? Problem is if you change from x to y, if you interchange between x and y, what happens? Then if you interchange between x and y, then you go here, this x cap means i cap becomes j cap and y cap becomes i cap. So j cross i becomes k. So whole system is rotated, then you have to use your left hand. Same, by the same method, which, which I showed with, your, with my right hand, you have to do with your left hand. Fine. You have to curl your fingers like this, and this will give you the direction. So I'm not showing the uh, left-handed coordinate system. This will confuse you. Don't worry, concentrate on the right-handed coordinate system. This is the system which we use. This is the standard system which we use for all our problems in physics. Uh, as far as uh, uh, JEE, NEET, everything is concerned. Even when you go to uh, uh, masters, you do your PhD, most of the books are written in right-handed coordinate system. They choose a system and then follow it. It's not a problem. The standard way to do is to choose your uh, coordinate system as right-handed coordinate system and do it. 
now uh, let me explain uh, uh, a little uh, thing further i want to add this suppose you take a vector any vector and if you you place it you place it like this this is a vector let me draw it okay let me draw it just wait suppose this is the suppose this is the vector when you draw it in your uh, copy you draw it like this but ac you actually it is this okay the actual it is this now so suppose this vector is p a uh, v vector then i draw i cap vx plus j cap vy plus k cap vz so what is this vx vy and vz very simple you drop a perpendicular on the xy plane you drop a perpendicular like this on the xy plane and from here you drop a perpendicular here you drop a perpendicular there this is vx this is vy and if you drop a perpendicular straight to the z axis this is vz fine this is vx this is vy and this is vz do not confuse i usually teach with models so that students uh, do not get confused and once it gets into their mind they'll never forget okay um uh, i hope you enjoyed it with this video i am uh, starting uh, this batch 11 uh, this april means those who are uh, passed uh, class 10 uh, for boards and competitive examinations both uh, if you are interested uh, you can come you can come uh, i have labs so i usually teach uh, uh, with models and labs 